taking a soil sample for free living nematodes test. These damaging nematodes are microscopic and can spread certain crop viruses. Other types are just root feeders that damage a crop if present in high numbers. Soils are commonly sampled before planting to assess if there is a need for treatment. Subdivide a field for separate sampling if it is greater than 4 hectares, if the soil type is variable, or history of split cropping. Use a zigzag or W pattern for evenly spaced sampling of an uncropped field. Take as many soil cores as possible. A minimum of 50 soil cores should be taken to make approximately 2 kilograms per sample. This is a much larger sample than would be used for mineral analysis. Sampling within a crop that precedes soft fruit crops requires great care. Nematodes cluster around plant root zones. Take equal numbers of cores between paths and crop rows. You may also choose to sample when nematode crop damage is suspected. Sample the root zones around both good and bad plants. You'll then be able to compare nematode counts to determine whether the problem is related to nematodes or not. Sampling depth for the core is typically 0 to 15 cm. Always take a complete core to the correct depth. This may not be easy if the soil is hard and dry, in which case it is better to wait for adequate rain to soften the profile. Nematodes are fragile. They can be broken or crushed. Gently collect the cores in a plastic bucket and mix gently to achieve a well-blended sample if you need to divide down before filling the sample bag. A sample weight of about 2 kilograms of soil is needed for analysis. This is much more than you would require for a mineral analysis. Label the bag immediately with a waterproof marker pen. It is very easy to confuse soil samples when collecting more than one at a time. A soil sample for free living nematodes is fragile. The microscopic nematodes have thin body walls. Handle the soil carefully avoid desiccation and store between 4 and 0 degrees centigrade before prompt dispatch. It is best to post in a rigid container to the laboratory early in the week to avoid weekend delays. Collecting a sample carefully takes time, so avoid trouble with delivery and processing and use clear labelling, secure packing and the correctly completed paperwork for the laboratory.